All right. Here we are at Monza for week two of the Pro Monza series with the RC IRS. We should hopefully have everything up and working. Where the current points right now is not showing. Let's see what this does. Maybe it takes a second for it to go. We'll have to take a look at that one. But as I said, we're in week two. We're at Monza. Right now, they're just in their 20-minute practice. Before we get our qualifying underway. Hmm. Had it working for, not too sure why it's not working right now. There it goes. I guess it just took a quick second to populate. As you can see, we got Michael Colombo still on top, but it's going to be anybody's race in this one. Oh, a little bit of there is Kyle trying to get around your race. Meanwhile, though, let's take a look at what happened last week. At the start here, we're going to see Colombo fall asleep and allow Bill to get that P1 position. And Todd Rizzo going to make the pass for P2. Unfortunately, Bill loses it as fast as he gets it. So in order for Colombo to get back to that P1 spot, all he has to do is try and get around Todd Rizzo. Todd, unfortunately, losing it here in the next lap. But the battle kind of raged on between Chet Miller and Robert Rosas for the next few laps for that P2 spot. Unfortunately, about a couple of laps later, that right-hander is going to be the undoing of Robert Rosas. A big off, unfortunately, going to put him down on the grid. Meanwhile, though, is Bill McLean back up on the charge. Had a good battle with Tao Tran for P3. And Bill able to capitalize when he gets his wheels out in front down the no-name straight. Next battle we're going to see is going to be Bill McLean versus Chet Miller for that P2 spot. This battle raged on for a couple of laps. Unfortunately, Chet made a mistake going into turn one, causing him to go a little bit wide, allowing Bill to go underneath and taking away P2. We had some battles going on towards the back or mid pack. The Yao Tao battle. This went on for about a good three or four laps. A 
Forte Tau getting a little bit too aggressive, locks it up trying to go around the outside, and just happens to track out just a little too much. And unfortunately, some tire, dirty tires is kind of what kept Tau from progressing any further. So that allowed your leader from lap two, Michael Colombo, to take the win for week one at Lime Rock. But here we are at Monza, week two, points up for grab, a race that anyone can win. Who's gonna get it? We're gonna find out shortly. That's right. And as you come back for us with qualifying, a huge tumble on a straightaway for Chet Miller. Right now, your points leader, Michael Colombo, out to set some laps. Good field of cars tonight. Bill McLean out there looking for some redemption off of that mistake in week one. We managed to get that whole shot, but then just got a little too anxious and forgot about turn one. That didn't go too well for him. He did come back and managed to secure a P2 spot. But we're going to see what he has today for Colombo here at Monza. Everybody going to be coming around for their first qualifying laps. So far, it might be anybody's race. Colombo only purpling two out of four of the sectors right now. And Colombo going to open it up with a 149.5. McLean. Close, but needs to find some pace. McLean coming in at a 150.4. So 9 tenths off the P1 spot. So Michael Colombo right now having a solid hold on that TQ spot. But we still got about five and a half minutes remaining in this qualifying session. Bill McLean rocking the Mazda, I think, was it the 762B paint scheme? And Mc, not too sure what Colombo's doing. Colombo's just going to hang back. Probably not wanting to give the draft to McLean. Tim Dre's putting on a solid run. Sitting there in P3 at a 151.5. Chet Miller at a 151.5. Wow. Only six thousandths of a second separating between P3 and P4. Josh Sherwood coming in at a 52.1. That's going to put him in P5. P6 right now at a 53.1. Colbert and Lewis, Steve Drace, still yet to put down a lap. Now the draft will come into play here, and it can benefit you if done right. That could be the possibility of what Colbert and Lewis are trying to figure out right now. McLean might do better than his previous, but not on a TQ pace. Bill crossing the line. 
not going faster still on that 150.4 Tim Gerace doesn't improve either let's see what Colbert is up to here there's Colbert and Lewis getting the draft on like I was thinking Plenty of time so one can push one and slingshot around and carry the other one for the next lap. Some team tactics going on right now. The crazy part is though, I think Colombo did his 149.5 without any draft. Ooh, Kyle again pulled in with the draft, having to back off of it and not to upset the run of Lewis. And Kyle going to be going into the pit. Chet Miller going to take that three spot now at a 51.5. Ooh, against Tim Drace at 51.5. And we're only talking about five, ten, uh, not even five tenths, five hundredths of a second separating P3 and P4. Lewis going out there for his qualifying run. Rocking the FW12 paint scheme. That is probably one of my favorite liveries of all time. Although, the question is though, does it have the Sonic the Hedgehog legs in Sega on the side? I don't think it does. Nope. Tim Gerace going to take the P3 back with a 151.4. So look at them. They're going back and forth now. Looks like Tim, these guys working together, trying to keep the trash, the draft, draft, the, the draft. Yes, they're, they're trying to keep touch with the giraffe because the long neck of the giraffe is just very difficult to keep in touch with. Oh my God. Back to Lewis here as he's going through Ascari. Lewis going way wide, catching it. That's not gonna help out his run. He was on a pretty good run there, looking at his sectors with a 37.9, a 17.5, and 18.8, but that's really gonna hurt his fourth sector. At a 20.6, we'll see if he's able to make it back up here with a five, but I don't think so. And Colombo going even faster now at a 48.7. As McLean thought he was going to get closer and have a chance at a 50.0. Colombo just decides to just drop the hammer and say, come back next season. Still though, three, four, and five, and six. All separated by about a tenth or two tenths of a second. Definitely going to be a good run out of them. But the man on top of the leaderboard right now, Colombo. Out of 148.7. Lewis, unfortunately, having that accident count for his qualifying lap. And Gonzalo Cortez just barely makes it in. Ooh, Gonzalo will be starting at the back of the pack. All right. Just again, it's another beautiful day here at Monza. Nice, cool 68 degrees with 58% humidity, partly cloudy with two mile per hour winds. As you can see, our format there was 20 minute practice, 10 minute qualifier, and now a 30 minute race coming on up. In which case, our grid should be coming up here. 
probably once the session is closed. I'm assuming maybe our session has not ended yet. Still working on trying to get all the little bugs worked out with this program. Learning the little quirks of it. I mean, it's just because uh, we still had cars on the track and then we're just waiting for them to go away. There we go. There's our grid. So over the front. Looks like we're going to have Michael Colombo followed by Bill McClain. And row two is going to be Chet Miller and Tim Gerace. Row three, Steve Gerace, Jason Sherwood. Row four, Clint Yao, Gonzalo Cortez. And rounding out the back, Kyle Colbert and Aaron Lewis. Just waiting to get everyone here on grid. All right, it is a standing start. Lights are coming on. Green flag, green flag. Lights are off. Cars are off. Here we go. Colombo not falling asleep on the whole shot this time. Not going to try and give a chance to Bill McLean. Bill, though, falling in. Here we go. Turn one. How's everyone going to be? So far, everyone making it out nice and clean. No incidents there. Good clean running between these guys. Right now, Colombo going to see if he can check out of this one. McLean, though, in that draft. Oh, McLean going wide. And that's the type of break that Colombo needs to try and solidify this win. It's still early on, though. We're still only on the first lap. As we're on board with Colombo. Coming up through Ascari. Meanwhile, though, Gonzalo moving all the way from the back up to P3. Lewis having a little bit of struggle all the way still at the back. And they come one, two, three, four, and five, six. Everyone's still in view. The only one that's kind of falling back is Jerace and Lewis. See what our gap is between our leaders. So right now, Colombo only 1.7 up. And with that draft, that's slowly closing. But McLean still has to worry about Cortez and Colbert. Right now, Colbert starting to put the pressure on Cortez. The question is, is, is he going to just work with them so they can get up back to the front? Or is Colbert going to be on the attack and try and take away that P3 spot? Good race going on so far. 
Looks like Colbert just going to see if he can do, see if he can just keep on pushing Cortez on up. Not quite ready to make the move yet. Colombo, though, starting to increase his gap. It was a 1.7. Now we're looking at two seconds. Good run out of these guys. Everybody running nice and clean, especially in that chicane of turn one. Now these cars getting up to roughly about anywhere from 145 to 150 and then just hard on the binders, ready to take that right hand to the quick left. And then they have to get back on the throttle, but gotta be ginger just a little bit. Gotta be a little gentle on that throttle. Oh, and Gonzalez, Gonzalo. Gonzalo trying to go around the outside of Bill just comes in a little bit too hot flicks the car slightly sideways Corbett though with a fast lap out of 149.5 all because of the draft right there as we were talking about before if these guys work together they can slowly creep back up to Colombo right now Colombo's having a two second lead they all have to work together Right now, it's only about 0.7, sec, uh, 0.7 gap, but Cortez running a little bit wide there. That's going to now make the gap a little bit larger to one second. Not too sure if Kyle's going to make the move yet. He's still sitting back there behind Cortez. Everyone looking really good. Let's see how we're looking at the back here. On board with Chet Miller running the Ferrari livery. So Sherwood trying to break the draft of Miller. Miller not having it and sticking his tail or sticking his nose right in the tail of Sherwood. And it looks like Cortez going to get the move on McLean. Colbert trying to come in, but McLean closes the door down, comes down on that line and says, sorry, kid, not today. McLean probably sitting there thinking, I know what you two are doing. I want some of that draft as well. Right now, though, Colombo throwing down a 49.6 and troubles for Colbert and McLean probably just got a little bit too close there with the bump draft. We're going to take a quick look at that. Uh, or not, because I probably don't know how to do that. There we go. So we're just going to take a quick look, see what ends up happening here. Colbert trying to go on the inside of McLean. They touch, and that was all she wrote. Meanwhile, back up at the front. Huge gap now. Between P2 and P3. Go ahead back here. It looks like Miller did get around Josh. Clint Yao now going to have to deal with Kyle Colbert. Colbert about 4.5 back. Aaron Lewis moving up to P9. Mm -hmm. 
These guys all grouped together. Lewis trying to pick up the draft off of Colbert. It's going to get very hairy, though, coming into this next chicane as they are going on almost three wide. Nowhere to go. Oh, my goodness. And there's going to be contact there. That was a really risky move. I'll go back and look at that one afterwards for a review, see what happened. I think the draft may have just pulled Drace right in. And Kyle is going to see if he can help Lewis get back up to the pack with some drafting. So Bill McLean, still P3, five seconds back from Cortez. Cortez, six seconds back from your leader, Colombo. Let's see what's going on with our five, six, and seven. Right now, everyone kind of evenly spread out. It will be interesting to see how much that draft works in order for Lewis and Colbert to catch back up. These two spent all Tuesday practicing this. Cortez had a slide off coming back on. Now the Dres brothers could do the same thing. They could lock nose to tail. Get that draft. And that could push them back up into the fight. Right now, Lewis only 0.8 back away from Yao. Now the thing they got to be careful of is they don't want to get into the same predicament as last time. And here comes Kyle. Kyle going to try and slingshot around. He's right there. Lewis is going to let him in. And now they're going to proceed to hunt down Clint. does 
and a crash out of Jerace. Him, Jerace. That's gonna allow his brother Steve on by. remaining of course with being a 30 minute race of 15 15 would be the halfway mark but we're about 14 down 16 left to go colombo having an eight second lead on colombo and cortez having about a four second lead it's five on the claim Right now, though, Lewis and Culver looking to hunt down Joshua. Josh now under attack. Culver should be on the inside making the move. And there they go. Culver going to move back up to P5. Six, seven, eight, all right there. And now Lewis gonna dip on the inside of Josh. Josh might be able to cut back underneath and it'll be a drag race down the straightaway. Moving in front of Lewis to help him get the draft. Now they're going to work together and see if they can set their sights on Miller. After seeing this, next week will be a whole bunch of different racing. This is definitely going to want to open up lines of communications between the drivers so they can work together and get back in the fight. It looks like Cortez has opened that up to about a five second lead over McLean. Miller doing well on his own. Miller running pretty consistent, 52.4, 517, and back to a 52 flat. close as we were thinking. It keeps on kind of bouncing around. We're looking at about a still a four to five second difference. Four point six eight. right now I'm glad to see that that time is increasing a lot of 
overtime loss for Lewis and Colbert. And issues for Lewis. Lewis going all the way to the back and is out. We're definitely going to have to take a look to see what happened there. Lewis is out of the race. Like I said, he had a crash. Maybe he got stuck in the wall. incident we're coming up on seven minutes remaining
where is the closest battle going to be on the track? It might be our 7-6 battle or a 3-4. Just stay on this pace. He might be able to catch McLean because McLean did have a big off coming in with a lap time of a 201. And we'll see. Chet could really use a P3 finish right now. So McLean already starting to increase the gap 3.3 maybe Kyle will come in and give Chet a little bit of a help to the series new to this group definitely showing some speed just having a little bit of bad luck in round one and two i know he's looking for a very strong finish coming next week week is going to be road Atlanta and a big mistake out of Chet here comes Colbert around the outside is Colbert able to do it in Chilton Colbert on the inside they go good job Chet giving a little bit of room probably a little more room than I would have given him and Colbert up to P4 but we're just now coming up with one minute to go. I don't think it's going to be enough time for Colbert to check to catch McLean. He's 
trying though. Just rattling that Kirby. Not too sure if Chet's gonna have anything to bring to the table to fight back. Now remember, these guys are battling four points. Chet right now. Chet, I believe, is sitting third in the standings. Blake Chet will continue to be sitting third in the standings, but there is one throw out. Chet needs to get all the points that he can get right now. In fact, all these drivers do. And they might make it around. Are they going to make it around for one more? I don't know. I don't think they are. Bill will. They are still going. Checkered flag is not going out yet, so this is the final lap. And Chet pushing hard, trying to rattle the cage of Kyle Colbert. Colbert getting a little bit squirrely coming out of that chicane. Over just us in the door. <laughs> so your leader, your winner, is gonna be Colombo, followed by Gonzalo, Bill, Kyle, Chet, Josh, Clint, Steve, Tim. Unfortunately, not sure what happened to Aaron. the standings before at the start the Colombo, McLean, Miller, Gerace, Yao, Roses, Grant, Roses, Gerace, Rizzo and now with the standings of this race it's not adding up <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a look at that and see why that's not doing that
trying to see how if this is going to take. Why it didn't pull. It's okay. We'll get it fixed for next week. That's what all this is about. Just making sure we can get all these things going. Anyhow, congratulations to the winners. We will catch you all next week. Road Atlanta for the RCIRS Pro Mazda. You all have a good night. And we will catch you later. By the way, please be on the lookout. Check out the YouTube for the highlights from this race. We'll get the highlights from the last week's race as well. But, yeah. Y'all have a good night.